This is my first time provisioning for a long passage. <laughs> what? It's like the ticket machine at the carnival. Paint a cockroach and then the boat will be full of cockroaches. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, That's no. not gonna work. Packed. Packed to the brim. Do you know? And away we go. And away we go. Welcome to Sailing Lady Africa. I'm Ricky, and this is my wife Simone. After two years of hard work on our boat, she's finally ready to take us from South Africa across the Atlantic to the Bahamas. Be sure to join in our adventures by subscribing down below. It's like no wait on the answers. Oh, you're sorry, but you never can tell. So, as you guys know, we have arrived in lovely Namibia. We are mooring here at Luderitz at the moment to run away from weather. Um, there's a weather system coming through. Hopefully we can leave on Saturday. But just wanted to talk to you guys a bit about what is in this episode. Provisioning, fuel, etc. This is my first time provisioning for a long passage. I've done it for shorter passages but never such a long passage being the Atlantic crossing. We stocked up on most of our provisions in South Africa because the prices are not expensive at all. We bought majority of the things that we would eat. We bought a lot of crackers um, because Patricia and Alan, our American neighbors at the V&A, said that if we want, we should buy a lot of crackers and chips and things like that because it can be a little bit pricey in the Bahamas. So we stocked up on that. Cereals that we eat, I eat oats. Wade and them eat cornflakes and wheat bakes. Ricky eats whatever. So we bought stuff like that, a lot of dry goods, pastas, rice, coffee, tea. So pretty much the daily stuff that you would normally have. A lot of snacks, energy bars. We found that during our night watches and stuff, when you need a little boost of energy because you're tired, an energy bar is awesome and it's easy to just grab and eat and you get some nutrients from it. So yeah, we bought a lot of dry goods and whatnot. Hopefully we bought enough. Like I said, it was my first time planning for a very long trip. We bought food for about the, about three months. Um, we didn't want to go over that because Lady Africa hates weight and we want to sail. We don't want to just tug along and have to use our motors all the time. So yes, we had to be conscious about the weight distribution that we have on Lady Africa. So that means we had to not buy a year or six months worth of provisioning. If you have a mono or whatever, you can do that, or a larger cat, but unfortunately we couldn't. We took a trip to Macro to go do our provisioning as they are a bulk carrier, so the prices are pretty competitive. The bigger the, the, bigger the problem, the bigger the paper roll. Ricky acts strong, but toilet paper is really light. Yeah, I should look that popular. We opted to buy milk powder over liquid milk due to the weight saving that we would make. What was your choice, Sticks? Yeah, I think you need them. Yeah. Smarties. The sweets are... <laughs> Everyone ended up taking a wild guess at what the bill would be. You can use it to do curls with. <laughs> Two prices, eh? 16,500. I guess 15,000, but I'm already feeling like I'm a little low there. 17 and a half. 17. That's the number. That's Wadey the number. said 22. 22. What did Wadey but say? Ben's cheating. He's had his phone out. He's been up in it. <laughs> How much did you say, Wadey? 25. 20. No, Wadey said 25. Don't cheat, Wadey. No, you do. Dad's so biased. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna see what it costs. <laughs> this is only provision trip one though. 
I don't even want to add the Pringles so that we're not out on my finger. This one we put five minutes, four kids, gotta feed them. Yeah. They're probably thinking that you're kidnapping us, taking us to the mountains. No, they're thinking your dad shame has four kids, he's gotta feed all of us. Like the ticket machine at the carnival. Yay, we won. We won. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky ended up being the winner, but my dad was not impressed. predicted correctly my ego is crushed <laughs> yeah but it's fine you were thinking of dollars you you're you thinking it's gonna be if we had to buy it in america what the conversion would have been yeah. <laughs> I, I, Simone, I, I swear i can't believe <laughs> How are we gonna sit now, Wade? Eh? Manje? Manje. Put it to the back, Wadey. <laughs> what about the eggs? No, that's fine. That's no, toilet, paper. toilet paper. man. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Wade's face is like... <laughs> paper, scissors. There we go. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have to load ya and then transfer to that one there. What you've seen oh, what yeah. we've brought. Yes. Give me uh, an estimate in rands. Yeah, how much? Give us a rough number in rands. Oh, in rands? Yeah, because my See, brain I'm only is still in America. In, um, my brain is in dollars, and I got it completely okay, wrong. Okay, rands. Well, I spent two hundred. I spent five hundred dollars in the last two days, and I, I'm not done yet. That's, so that's eight thousand rands. That's eight thousand rands. Okay. Um, so to did you get meat? Not no. yet. This, okay. is, um, this right. is just like canned stuff, snacks, let's, let's see how good you are creamer. You've got a lot of stuff here. Yeah, yeah. Um, is that what? Okay, oh, don't you try. I'm, 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 I'm,
taking their things off because it's South Africa and I think they turn the stock around enough. It's not like, um, I don't know, probably like Mozambique, which the stock might sit, lo sit long in the shelves or like, I don't know, somewhere else. But yeah, um, then what we did also is because I'm trying to keep the weight down is instead of buying milk, we went with milk powder. So we've got um, 60... 90 liters, right? We've got 90 liters? 90 liters conversion into milk powder instead of 90 kilos or 100, 200 pounds. Um, we've got 40 pounds. So, and then we've got cream on top of that, which helps us save the weight. It's really long lasting. So, it should be sweet. We tested the milk out uh, in the last two weeks. We've been trying the milk and make sure that. It kind of tastes good and does you yeah, really can't tell the difference so but don't you just want that's a big Mexican weight saving that's practical to do now style. for the crossing just a little, yeah everyone's cracking on getting things done so let me get giving them a hand and uh getting the baby stocked up and then tomorrow we're doing the meat run me and Glenn are going so we've got another freezer up front there um there's a 50 liter freezer which can take some some extra stuff and we're gonna fill that up with meat and then we've got the 110 litre freezer over there, which we know takes plenty. I don't, why do we take the labels off the cans? We take them off so that we don't get cockroach eggs behind the, 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 labels. the labels. And then that will grow into a cockroach and then the boat will be full of cockroaches. Oh no. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not going to work. That's not going to work with So what's that? Do you know? stands for tomato and onion mix do you know and away we go and away we go away we go with do you know production line kitchen and an hour and a half later this is what everything looks like everything's stock up that's pretty deep it, it looks like it's just there but it goes about another 400 mils back it's it's chock a block. I mean, show you there. There's corn flakes. There's sodas in the back there. So load it up. That's full of cans under there. And it's full full. That's the same story. All chock a block. Twenty four packs of pasta in there. Um, Twenty packs of rice and some maize meal that's a sweet cabinet everyone's got to stay out of there for chicken beef lamb and ground beef mince things like that uh, we've got it or so three months worth of meat we got it vacuum packed and deboned so it is very compact so it can stack really well in our freezer we did buy an extra freezer so we could take more meat and also we took viennas chicken viennas um, Chorizo, things that are super quick to make and if the weather is not really good you can quickly whip it up rice cakes tuna cans um, and we obviously saved some space in our second freezer for if we catch fish which we only caught one on the way to Namibia but. the early morning start we're off to provisioning run number two yesterday we did all the dry goods and all the macro stuff and then this morning we're gonna go do that What are you feeling more for a sweet chili maybe? Up to you. What do you think? Do you think uh, get a piece and then cut it and vacuum pack it to freeze it to take with? Yeah. It's like one piece. So we're getting some built on and that's that. It's dried cured meat and then we're gonna vacuum pack that and then we'll put that on the boat. So. It would be epic snack. We made a stop at Vita's because they had a gift bag waiting for us. Service kits for our engine. We got a gift bag from Vita's. Some filters. Yeah. Never have enough filters. Just 
got service kits for each engine and some sweet impellers. Oh yeah. So we'll be able to do that. Some diesel filters. So we sort it. And then this is hopefully my last client in South Africa. Well, not, I don't mean it in a bad way. I'm just meaning it's time to go sailing now. So this gets shipped out this afternoon and then I am hopefully done. You know what they say, you got to pay the bills, keep on working. You want to go sailing around the world? Well, work every day and you're good. Provision. Just bacon. Hey, listen. Here's a message from your deckhand. We didn't fight our way to the top of the food chain to eat salad. <laughs> <laughs> Just steak. We eat meat. We eat meat. Some beautiful rum steaks. This is Biltong. Which? Husband. Biltong with hooks. With hooks. Well, I thought it was S for Simone's Biltong. Yeah, uh, that too. <laughs> so that we can hang them. Some we got a little bit wetter than the other ones. <laughs> hey, you guys are a here. bunch of T-Rexes. <laughs> eh? We didn't buy a new freezer for nothing. With lithium power, baby. Four per pack. Everything packed. Four per pack. And then vacuum seals everything. How Better long did it take her? About long. an hour. Glenn, do you think we have enough meat? You think we need more? This will last us a couple of weeks. In a day or two. We're going to catch a fish or two. Oh yeah, we must leave room for our fish. Packed. Back to the brim. We got bacon, there's pork chops, chicken, mince, rum steak, and that was our go to selection. Did I say we got lamb? There's lamb too over there. Sweet. So that's pretty much our provisioning list. For fuel, we have to take 300 liters. How much we take 300 liters? What? Take 300 liters of fuel. How much fuel we take? Yeah, and tanks wise. Oh, 300 liters in the tank, yeah. Yeah, 300 liters of fuel in our tanks, and then another additional 120. 20, yeah. Um, on cans, and then water tank is 600 liters. Mm -hmm. I haven't used a quarter of it. Oh yeah, no, we still got plenty of water. Plenty on our fuel. way, because of our awesome salt water dishwasher <laughs> oh yeah and salt water toilet made a huge yeah. difference so um yeah that's pretty much our provisioning just things that you would eat normally mm -hmm. we took some flour stuff if we feel like making bread sometime and things like what we love from south africa like pup we took pup i say we're definitely eating a lot the pup is like maize meal yeah, but we took meal. more than what we actually we provisioned for the four months three four months worth of food but yeah, I think like we took so much snacks. If there's any questions you guys have, leave it in the comments below and I'll reply to them as soon as I can. Hey guys, so a lot of you guys have been asking why do we have an American flag? We registered the boat in the US because of ease of entries, uh, certification, documentation, everything makes it way easier. We don't have to serve a vessel every single year. So that's why we registered the boat in the US. Still love South Africa. South Africa is our home country. It's just physically the vessel is American. It just makes it way easier for our documentation every year that we need to do for the insurance and for travel documents. But we still use the green mamba to go everywhere we go, which is a South African passport. We're still South Africans. So that's the story behind it. Do you guys subscribe down below? Hit the big thumbs up and uh, follow the journey. We're gonna do many countries across until we get to Grenada. So make sure you guys
click that subscribe button hit that little notification bell so it lets you know every single time we upload an episode so you guys don't miss any if you want to join the patreon family don't forget to click on the link down in the description below and all the best guys love you and have an awesome weekend ciao ciao